What's going on everybody and welcome to the year 2020 where nothing goes according to plan for anybody on this planet. The latest development is a string of wildfires on the Pacific West Coast of the United States, which is causing a lot of problems for the air quality here in Vancouver and all across British Columbia. The original plan for today was actually to already be in Kelowna to visit a winery called Mission Hill to have lunch there, but the wildfires scrapped those plans. And according to the forecast, we were supposed to have a bit of a break from it today with some Pacific winds pushing into the mainland to suck the smoke back out over the ocean, but that hasn't happened yet and the air quality continues to deteriorate. So Kirsten and I have made a decision we are going to push today all the way to Banff. We're hoping for it to clear over the next day or two because we had a lot of plans to do hiking there. We did not think we'd be running from smoke at any point but mother nature seems to have her thumb over everybody this year and honestly what can you do? There's mountains all the way up in there and because of the smog, you can't even see them. We've been on the road for a few hours now. We are on the Coquihalla. The good news is the smog is not quite as bad up here. We've seen blue skies for the first time in a couple days. There is still certainly a layer of smog though. I'm not really feeling too optimistic because I have a feeling that the smog is gonna be lined all the way to Banff. We've still got about six hours to go and by the time we get there, it'll be eight o'clock at night. It's gonna be dark. It's gonna be a really long day sitting in the van with Kirsten. <laughs> Today's drive is one of the most amazing drives we could be doing, especially because we get to go through four different national parks, all located in the Rocky Mountain ranges. We're going to be driving through Revelstoke, Glacier, Yoho, and Banff National Park. I really hope we'll actually be able to see them, as right now, looking out the windows, we can't see anything. absolute day on the road today. Eight hours of straight driving. Yeah, it's nice to be in Banff though. It's definitely a lot colder here. Kirsten's gonna whip us up some quick instant Indian food tonight. I'm really excited about that. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna go check out Lake Louise. So we're gonna play it by ear tomorrow because if the forecast can be trusted, we might get a small window of clear weather before the smog pushes back in. Good morning everyone. Behind us is the iconic Lake Louise. We got here bright and early before sunrise just to make sure we got a place in the parking lot and it turned out there were a lot of them. I'm wondering if the smoke has scared a lot of people off. I kind of feel sorry for the people who paid like $300 a night to stay at the Lake Louise Chateau and they're getting this but I think we'll make the most of today. It is feeling a little bit fresh this morning and we haven't had coffee yet which means I think we should probably hike to the tea house. <laughs> why if it was maybe a little bit more full how it would look like a mirror we need to get to lake agnes because i think that's going to be the prettier of the lakes we are only 800 meters to the tea house and that can only mean one thing i ordered earl grey tea and richard ordered masala chai so i think we got our favorites here we're at the lake agnes tea house and it is the most adorable little cabin up here we followed tracks of horse poop all the way up because that's how they get all the supplies up here <laughs> as you might be able to tell there are lots of other hikers up here despite the smoke despite the cold weather i think they just come for the tea so the trail goes around the back of lake agnes and then up to the devil's thumb we're doing it because there's a little less elevation and the smoke is causing some issues with breathing today. There's a whole pile of switchbacks before we go up the ridge to the summit of Devil's Thumb. Kirsten wore jeans today, so this may not be very friendly to her. Who wears jeans on an alpine hike? One where you said we were going to the tea house. Oh. <clears throat> I didn't say nothing of the sorts. Easy peasy. No problem in jeans. They're stretchy, man. They're jeggings. A little steep. A little loose. Look at the little sheepy.
Good work, Bay. Seems like it's starting to rain now, which is also not in the forecast. So we've got a bit of a steep decline on some loose stuff. So we've got to get going before it gets too bad. We were looking at Mount St. Puron, but it doesn't look like it might have the best view. I actually think the best view is the Devil's Thumb. And I'm also thinking too, with the rain and the smoke, maybe we shouldn't push ourselves too hard. There's always next time, right? There's always another time. So there's Lake Louise. That's where we came from. That crackling noise that you heard in the last clip is the beginning of the end for our Sony a7 III camera's preamps. We've been using this camera along with a Rode Video Micro for well over a year now, and it's done everything that we've asked it to do until this very moment. The Sony a7 III's preamp, which is the audio inline where we plug the auxiliary cable from the microphone, into the camera is notorious for breaking down. There are tons of reports of people having this problem on the internet. And after a year, it finally happened to us. The warranty is no longer good on our Sony a7 III camera. So we've had to switch over to a hot shoe mic that doesn't have any cables. It's great, but it was quite a bit more expensive. We were able to salvage enough of the audio from our Banff video, but we filmed one more video on our way home, which was unfortunately completely destroyed by our camera's preamp. All you hear is crackling. You can't even hear what we were saying or any of the noise from the area we were in. So such is life. We're off the peak of Devil's Thumb now, and honestly, we're not really done with adventuring for the day. We didn't wake up at 6 a.m. for nothing, so we're gonna head to the other tea house. We're here at the second tea house and it's got a more Himalayan style, even though I'm pretty sure it was run by a Swiss family in the 1920s, although I'm sure I'll correct myself on that. This is center to a lot of huge hikes in this area. This is actually where some of the first mountaineering happened in Canada. Mount Lefroy, which is right in front of me, was the first mountaineering casualty in Canada. There's another hut and a place called Death Trap, just located a little bit further up from here, where there has been known to be a number of casualties due to the avalanches that come off of Mount Victoria, which is definitely the most prominent mountain here as it features a massive glacier on it. They do call this Plains of the Six Glaciers after all, and we are surrounded by them and alpine meadows. It's been an incredible journey today, but I think it's time we head back to the car. Car, all cleaned up <laughs> because we are going out for dinner tonight. We're gonna take a drive down the highway to the town of Banff tonight and we're gonna have a bit of a celebratory dinner. And you know what I think we're gonna do? For once on this trip, we're gonna leave the camera in the van and not take it with us and just enjoy. Speaking of enjoying, I had a great time on the trail today. It was a lot of fun. We ended up spending almost eight, eight and a half hours maybe out on the trail. We did 18 kilometers today, which is I think the longest we've ever hiked in one day. However, a lot of it today was pretty flat, which made it a lot easier. If things go according to plan and the smoke doesn't get worse, we're gonna be doing the same thing tomorrow. Who knows though, at this point, we just gotta play it by ear because mother nature is just going insane. Anyways guys, we're gonna go enjoy our dinner and we'll pick you up again in the morning. The following morning, we drove north about 50 kilometers down the Icefields Parkway to Bow Lake for an incredible golden sunrise and finally some smoke clearing. So that right there is Mount Jimmy Simpson hike along Bow Lake all the way to Bow Waterfalls and Bow Glacier before we turn and go straight up the mountain to the top of Mount Jimmy Simpson. 2,970 meters should be a good day. The hike so far has been pretty much a tough sludge up the side of the mountain, up on some pretty loose rocks. We had good footing the whole way up, 
but we had to be really careful not to kick rocks down on each other. It should be easier here for a bit at least. I know we can't see the other side of the mountains yet, but this valley's worth it. I think I finally found a throne fit for me. It's a nice place just to take a load off for a moment and have somewhere comfortable to rest your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I gotta get off this. We're at the crux of the hike. There's a couple routes we could take. Beside me there's a scree slog we could do. This looks a lot easier. It does have a little bit of snow we have to deal with. The snow is really slippery. I'm gonna try and make some nice footholds. It's just a few steps up the snow into a little gully where we just have to climb up and from there we should be pretty much smooth sailing. More like a snow treadmill. Yeah. Not ideal. No. Oh, I was so close, but it was just too slippery at the top. We're gonna have to take the rock gully. It doesn't look terrible either though. Through the worst of it, I can see the ridge. We're really close now. That's gonna be tough coming down. That's the summit. We gotta gain the ridge here and then get up there. September 16th, 2020, best view in all of Banff. Had a moment up here, got the perfect clearing from the smoke of the wildfires. Love from Ontario, Rich and Kirsten. Just to give us some perspective, that's Bow Lake. Our car's down there. That's a lake and a glacier. That's a massive glacier. It feeds into that beautiful lake. Actually, no, it doesn't. Who am I kidding? There's another glacier up there that feeds into that beautiful lake. I'm so proud of us. We've done amazing. And honestly, we were rewarded with incredible 360 degree mountain glacier, glacier lake views. You can see anything and everything you would want to from here. And it feels so untouched at the same time. This trip has been incredible and I wouldn't trade a second of it for anything else right now and I'm so happy I got to do it with you but it's sure feeling like today is our last day in Banff we're gonna sleep here tonight because we're tired we've done a lot of hiking in the last two days but I think we're gonna start heading east the smoke cleared today but it is looks like it's pouring back in and according to the forecast it's gonna continue in the next couple days so we'll probably have to pick you up somewhere along the road although you'll have to tune into the next episode to find out what exactly we do because at this point, who knows? From the top of Mount Jimmy Simpson at 2,970 meters of elevation, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.